third. Then C. The formula for winning the national championship has changed in recent years. Titles are not solely won by senior-laden teams filled, in equal parts, with veteran stars and deep chemistry. Those teams exist, sort of, but not always with their oldest players being their best. College basketball's most talented players rarely stay in college for more than a season. Kentucky found its winning formula in 2011-12, when Anthony Davis and Michael Kidd Gilchrist led a veteran dotted Wildcats team to the title. Other star-studded, freshman-heavy teams since have come up just short, even last year's squad that was unbeaten until its final four defeat. As the debate raged whether John Calipari's system worked, in a team-centric championship sense, or whether freshmen could carry a team to a title in general. Another school jumped into the game, Duke. USA Today Duke's Mike R. Suzuki applauds first openly gay hoops coach Chris Burns The Blue Devils had dipped their toes into the pool of one-and-done talent in the past decade, but rarely had they taken more than one at a time. Last season, they had three. Yael O.K.F. Just Eyes Winslow and Tyus Jones all played one season at Duke before being taken in the first round of June's NBA draft. The three left Durham, then C, with national championship rings. But they weren't the key pieces to the success, at least not according to the Duke coaching staff. Duke's Mike A.R. Suzuki directs Brandon Ingram 14 Duke's Mike A.R. Suzuki directs Brandon Ingram 14 Luke Kennard 5 and Marshall Plumley during practice in October. Photo, Bernard Thomas. AP if you go back and you look at last year's team, obviously our freshmen were the most talented guys, but the heart and soul of that team was Quinn Cook, Duke associate head coach Jeff Kappel told USA Today Sports. His leadership as a senior, from going through all kind of different things. A mile, 